if we as an industry can expose and remove con artists and frauds from calling themselves photographers, it reinforces society's perception of what we do. It, it protects our work, protects the future of the industry and protects our clients. It's, it's an all-round win-win situation and we, we got to help each other out. Welcome to another Thorley Photography video. I wanted to share with you a few of my experiences about protecting photo copyright. I wanted to share a few resources, a few things you can do and a few things you should do to find out if your copyright has been infringed. It's not just about protecting an asset because I, I produce photography for a living or a matter of uh, ownership and personal pride, but it's also about protecting the industry. And we need to stick together as a community. What happened to me was a, uh, a supposedly wedding photographer actually on the other side of the world in Pennsylvania, United States, was um, copying photos out of my website and uh, posting them on his own and claiming that they were, that was his photography and using that as a tool for booking his own wedding clients. Now, of course, he's ripping me off. Um, it's insulting to the people in the photographs as well, but uh, possibly the biggest crime here would be the uh, people who are misled and people who might book him for his wedding photography service and he would certainly be selling them disappointment. Obviously, if he could produce these photos, he would have done so himself and he wouldn't need to steal mine. This is the nastiest thing that could happen from this, but the flow on effect is that these people may not realize that they've been completely robbed and misled and they might actually say to their friends and family, well, we hired a pro and the photos were terrible. We should have just spent more money on wine. If you go to my blog page, there's a list of resources of, of ways that you can take action uh, against somebody who's a copyright infringer. You need to write a cease and desist use letter, which um, notifies them of the copyright infringement. Another thing I did was Google this person and find out absolutely everywhere that their um, business was listed on the internet. Um, these days, most businesses are listed in multiple um, location-based business directories that are free, and, and often you can write reviews. And I, I started publishing the story of uh, these stolen photos on his business pages all over the internet. I was dragging his name through the mud, and that's exactly where his name belonged. Also, most photographers will have a Facebook page, um, so I, I then... I found uh, all the people who had liked any of the posts in his Facebook page. I contacted them and told them what Paul Sajnani was, was doing and how he was a lying fraud. You also need to petition his um, web host to remove his content or pressure him to remove his content because uh, a web host who is hosting uh, copyright infringing content is breaking some sort of a law. I don't, I don't know the legalities of it. I know you can petition for copyright infringing content to be removed from somebody's website by contacting their domain host. Google has a form you can fill out. If somebody is found to be infringing on copyright, you can have them removed from all Google results. Uh, this would mean if um, I didn't quite get there with Paul Sajnani because he had removed all of his stolen photography before I'd gotten to it, but this would mean that all of his stuff would have been removed from Google search results for his own name and in its place would be um, my postings of his name. I found out about this because I was, I was contacted um, by a website that actually catalogues photography thieves in, in, in order to expose them and shame them and I'm, I'm really appreciative of this because um, it enables us to all band together and take action together. And I, um, I was emailing and corresponding with, um, I believe there was about 12 photographers he was stealing from. He was picking photos from all over the world. I'm really grateful Facebook took very swift action. Uh, I don't know if Facebook removed the stolen photography or he did it after pressure from Facebook, but very quickly my stuff got removed from his Facebook page. So to put pressure on somebody on the other side of the world who was stealing my photography, I um, researched as much information about as I, them as I could and 
And when I put it all together in one place and shared it with all the other photographers you're stealing from, um, I titled it The Hurt Package. Google Documents was good for this. I could then, I could always add more emails for people to give them access to this Hurt Package. In my blog post, I'll, I'll put in a heap of links for resources to, um, so that you can put together your own Hurt Packages. <laughs> it's getting really nasty. I've since found out how you can um, check to see if your photography has been stolen. You um, take a Chrome browser seemed to work best for me. I had trouble doing this on a Mac. Get a cr two Chrome browser windows open. Get one of them to um, Google Image Search. So duplicate it and then drag it outside so that it's it's like you have two independent browsers open. And one of them you want on images.google.com. This uh, just brings up a, it's a search bar, a Google search bar specifically for images. And with the other one, you want to find the photographs that you want to check where else they are posted on the internet. So uh, go to your own website or anywhere you think photography may be stolen from. And... Um, Now just click and drag your hero shots, anything that really distinguishing, any, any wow photos, and drag them over to the search bar of the other browser window and drop it there. Let go of the mouse. And, and what it does is it somehow it instantly cross-references that with the entire internet and shows you everywhere else uh, where that is posted. I think it would be healthy for anybody who posts a lot of photography to regularly check and see if your stuff's getting reposted anywhere else.